Marcus, is that you? Wow, I can't believe you're here. Gabriel, why are you surprised? Can't I come to visit my brother or what? Of course, you can come whenever you want. This is your house, you know that. But you hadn't come in. I don't know. Five years. That's why I'm surprised. Well, I was busy. You know. I started college and I didn't have time to come here. Don't worry. I know it's very hard. When you start studying, you don't have time for anything. Exactly. And I couldn't come here. But I always ask mom about you. All the time. Seriously. And how's mom? Is everything okay? Don't tell me she's sick. No, she's fine. I didn't tell her I was coming. She doesn't know I'm here, in fact. I see. But next time, come with mom. The last time she visited me was last month. Really? So, she comes here very often, then. I didn't know that. That's good. Yeah, she always comes here. Every month. Once a month, in fact. At the end of the month. She has her own bedroom in my house. She stays there and we can have time together. Oh, that's great. Mom always liked these kind of things. I mean, the farm. She doesn't love it, but she comes here to visit me. And of course, also my children. Oh, right. Your children. Where are they now? I don't see them. They had to go to deliver some vegetables to the nearest store. But Melissa is in the house. Melissa. That's your wife, right? I'm really sorry. I don't remember her name. Ha ha ha. That's because you didn't even go to our wedding. We sent you the invitation, but you never arrived. I'm sorry. I told mom I was busy studying. You know, I had to study hard. But it was in summer. You don't have classes in summer. Or that's what my mom told me back then. Well, that summer, I had to take a special course and that's why I couldn't go to your wedding. But hey, I'm here. Your brother. I came to see you and your children. I can't wait to see John and the new member of the family. Patricia. Yeah. John and Carla. My daughter's name is Carla, not Patricia. But you don't know that. Oh, I'm sorry. Ha ha ha. Carla, yeah. I haven't met her yet. How is she? She's fine. She's already five years old. You would know if you had come to her birthdays. She turned five last month. My mother was here and we made a party with Melissa's family. Because I knew you were not gonna come to the party. You haven't visited me since. I don't remember. But you can't blame us for that. You live very far, brother. It's kind of difficult to get here. I had to take two buses and a horse to arrive. Why did you move so far from the city? You know I always wanted to live in the country. That's why I moved here. With Melissa. Her father was born here and so was she. When we got married, we decided to move here. Two years after getting married, her father died and we took care of this farm. I love it. I mean, we have everything we want here. A good place to live, food, our pets. Yeah, I see. But what about education? Do your children study? 
Of course. There's a good school five minutes from here. They go to that school. I take them to school every day. They like it. They made a lot of friends there. Sometimes, they come here to play. I mean, they're friends. And they have a good time together. And what about the college? Where are they going to study after they finish school? There's also a good university in the city. It's not far from here. Just 20 minutes. Or, if they prefer, they can go to the main city. It depends on them. They're free to choose. That's why I work hard. To give them a good education, food, a house and love. And do they like it? I mean, do your two children like this life? In the farm. I have three children. Remember John and Mary are twin brothers. You forgot about that. And yeah, they're very happy. They tell me they love to play in the farm and in the barn. Oh, good for them, then. I couldn't live here. I'm not saying your house is ugly, no. But it's not for me. I prefer the city, the buildings, technology and so on. Well, it depends on each person. If you don't like the farm, that's okay, brother. Don't worry. But, I don't understand. If you don't like the farm, why are you here then? What happened? Oh, well, I don't like the country, but you're my brother. I have to visit my family. You are my brother. My nephews and nieces live here. I came here to see all of you. Um, that's weird because you hadn't come in years and suddenly, anyway. The important is you're here and I'm happy my brother came to visit me. Thank you very much. You don't have to thank me. And if there's anything I can do for you, anything, just tell me. Are you serious? I didn't expect that from you. Thank you. I have something. Whatever you want, my brother. I am here to help you. That's what family does, right? We need to help each other. Always. Because we're family. I love you, brother. You're right. Thank you very much. I need to finish with these vegetables in. Before you continue, do you think you can lend me money? Just $10,000, please. What? Money. I don't have $10,000. Who told you I have $10,000? Your farm is very big and I suppose you make a lot of money here. I need it to pay some debts. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry, but I don't have $10,000. We don't earn that much. I knew it. You are still a loser. And you will always be a loser. Bye. Okay. Goodbye, brother. But someday, he will grow up. What can I do? Dear listeners, I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the Soper Think button. Thanks.